right y'all so it's our first night here in wisconsin and uh we're going out to grab a bunch of cameras and uh spotlight some fields so uh we just had a bit of a weird encounter we're uh checking cameras you know at night time because we're trying to be as efficient as possible we mm -hmm. we yeah. just got here a hunter and mm -hmm. uh some guy pulled up started being a creep hanging out behind us started telling me that uh he thought we were doing illegal stuff and he called the game warden and whatnot so he's still back there kind of just out here doing illegal stuff with all these lights I wonder, uh, how can you tell if somebody's doing something should, illegal hey, hold on. should we get the sd card in case oh, you want to just change it yeah because it might be a good spot to leave the uh, camera yeah sure we're not doing anything illegal, but we're checking cards. Hopefully we got something good. Dude, that is a big deer. And he didn't even go 30 yards. Oh my God. <laughs> that was the first buck I've ever shot. Woo! What a rush. Money. That deer is dead. Tagged out, baby. <laughs> you shot one? Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. I saw him go what? down. Is this big enough? Can you read this? Yeah, I can read. Okay. Oh, 20 at the top. Tw yes, 20 is 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Okay, perfect. All right, where's that tape at? Yeah. It was oh. so much funner when he was doing it. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to stick this on the side of the crossbow so that when you, you don't even have to like pull anything out of your pocket. Just pull up the crossbow and then you can look at it. It'll be right there. 20, 40, 50. 30. Uh, 30. 40. <laughs> 50. 20, Just increase 30. by 10 every time. 20, 30, 50. 20, 30, 40. 20, 30, 40, 50. Yeah. And then? Ah, uh, true. 60. 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Yeah. Finally, today is the day we are heading into the woods to actually hunt. It's finally here. About 108. I figure we'll be in our setups about three o'clock. Um, and then we'll be getting down at six o'clock. Yeah, so it's pretty exciting. Not a long sit. We're just kind of dipping our toes in the water to try try it out. We actually haven't pulled these cameras yet. So we have the, no idea. Yeah, so the intent for these areas was to go in when we're gonna hunt, pull the camera, see what it looks like, and then just set up good or bad and then uh, if they're lame then we'll pull our stuff at the evening once we're done hunting and set up in another spot and go check out our merch store you can get some sweet merch and uh that's not bear over there wearing any. That's, that's not a bear there's, huh? no, there's no bears here i see a bear over there on the, on the bridge it's, it's, oh. oh that was the uh the little fake bear oh okay it's, it's fake. A little fake bear. It's fake. No, no, no. It's, it's a bear. It's a plastic bear. Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. You mean fake? Like a fake bear? Yeah. Yeah. But it's a bear. I'm on my first sit of Wisconsin. As you can probably tell, it is quite windy, and I'm sitting uh, in between a soybean field um, and a really nice bedding area. We've seen deer hanging out in that soybean field at night. Uh, when we've driven around and spotlighted and uh, there's a ton of sign back here in this bedding area so I'm like pretty in the open right now I'm on a I, I want to say these are willow trees or they might be cottonwoods I, I, I really don't know but um anyway closest trail to me is about 30 yards away so and there's a, I had a camera about 50, 60 yards from here, and there was a lot of traffic coming from this side, heading down towards that field, and uh, it was a pretty nice buck came through in the past, like I think it was like five days, 
five days ago. There's a ton of rubs back behind me here. The wind's blowing straight back to the road. So if something comes off this bedding area here, shouldn't be able to pick me off. I should be able to see it coming from a ways away. So got a relatively good feeling here that uh, I'm at least going to see some deer. We're, uh, we're in it for meat first, so any does that come by, we got three tags each for does, so does are definitely catching an arrow, but we're going to wait for a decent buck. We're not looking for anything giant, but uh, not trying to shoot a scrub either. Hopefully we see something move. Stay tuned. Of course, right at freaking prime time, I've got two hunters walking out to me trying to kick up freaking pheasants and they're not paying any attention. Well, I guess the disrespect on public land happens everywhere. These guys just came through here. I thought they couldn't hear me whistling at them. Finally comes out in the open like 60, 70 yards away and I put my hands up and he puts his hands up and he's like, what do you want us to do? We're pheasant hunting. I mean, I get his public land, but like I'm stuck in a tree. And they can go anywhere they want. I just don't understand. And now they're just standing back there right on the edge of the bedding area. It, along the trails that would that the deer would probably use to get to me so kind of feel like i'm kind of screwed for for tonight but i'm not going to lose hope because i'm going to guess this area gets enough pressure that maybe the deer aren't too weary about it i guess we'll see